Welcome to One Pizza Too Many. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. One Pizza Too Many cooking and unboxing videos. Now today I'm going to be using the Ninja Foodie Max, the OP500 UK, um, and I'm going to be doing some chicken wings. Here. We are going to look at pressure cooking and then air crisping these um, with some salt and pepper seasoning. Really simply done. So let's get into this. Now before we start, make sure you head over to my competition, just in the link above, where you can win yourself a GI Metal pizza peel. Not one to miss this one. Ingredients we're using today are of course the chicken wings. We've got a kilo of chicken wings here. We've got 250 ml of water. Some salt and pepper for at the end to season up. We have some vegetable oil ready for air crisping. Obviously, we've got the ninja book, a pair of tongs, a brush for putting the oil on the wings, and obviously the ninja foodie. And this one is the OP500 UK, so it's the ninja foodie max. Now, to start off today, we're going to open the ninja's pressure lid up. And I have the rack inside to be stored inside. Now, metal on the non stick pot is a nightmare. Make sure you head over to the video link above to see my three things that I really dislike about this particular Ninja Foodie. But we're not getting into that today. So, what we're going to do, many of you will do chicken wings on the rack, we're going to do it in the basket. So the basket's going to go inside. I'm going to add 250 ml of water. This is warm water. This will just help it come up to temperature quicker and will enable the pressure to build quicker. We're then going to go in with one kilo of chicken wings, nice and cheap. We're just going to put them straight in like so. So with the other hand, so we've got chicken on this hand, we're going to put the lid on the foodie. I'm going to lock it in place and I'm going to need the little seal vent over to seal and vent and we're going to switch it on. Now, there's no mention of chicken wings in the book, okay, um, so don't worry about looking. Now this chicken breast, chicken thighs, all things like that. Okay, so what we are going to do is we're going to pressure pressure cook these on high for 10 minutes. Okay, so when they come round, and what we're going to do, we're going to press function. We're going to go over to pressure, high, and 10 minutes, and um, we're going to press go. And that's going to preheat for around five minutes, pressure cook for ten, and we're then going to do a quick release on the vent at the back. So join me when this is finished pressure cooking. Okay, so it now says warm because it's finished the pressure cooking process, and it's been now counting up to tell you how long since it finished pressure cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to come round to the vent at the back and we're going to stand back and carefully we're going to move this to vent to manually vent it. So that's just taken under four minutes to do a natural pressure release and the vent or the little safety uh, valve has now dropped down into the lid so it means it's safe to take the lid off, so I'm going to unscrew it, lift it off. It's so much steam because it is freezing out here, it's currently about 2 degrees. And yeah, they look really really good, really sort of well cooked, they're not stuck together. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we've got some oil and a brush, now you can either dab the oil onto each one. Yeah, or I'm just going to be quite liberal and you'll notice I've not drained any of the water 
out of the box prior to doing this or out of the ninja um, basket before I put the foil in. Because this is meant to be an easy recipe. You don't want to be messing about draining. And then some salt. And that's just going to help draw the moisture out of the skin and help to crisp it up. Then we're going to go over with the lid. And what we are going to do is we're going to change the function to air crisp to 200 and we're going to lower the time down to 15 minutes. However, we're going to check it every sort of 5 minutes to see where we're at. And off we go. It's now been going for 8 minutes and as you can see, loads of heat coming off it. So I'm going to open it. And what we're going to do is we're going to give the basket a shake. Just fold in the cloth, get hold of the handles. Okay. I'm going to put the basket back in. And there's just two of them at the bottom which have just caught the side, so I'm just cleaning them off a little bit. I'm just going to give it another shake. Okay. So all the wings are free. I'm going to put it back in and I'm going to close the lid down for the remainder of the time, so for the full 15 minutes. There we have it, there's the beep. It's now finished and it's coming to a slow stop. So let's open the lid. Yeah, they're looking good. Right, let's get some out onto the plate, shall we? Now, some might say this is a portion for two, maybe three people. If you like me, you might say this is just a snack. look amazing. One more. Look at look how crispy they are. Then we're just gonna go on with a little bit of salt and a little bit of cracked black pepper. article. Look at them chicken wings. So, all done in the Ninja Foodie, pressure cooked for 10 minutes, then air crisp with a little bit of oil for 15 minutes. Nice and crispy. Let's have a look at the taste. Fantastic. There's not much meat on the wings, but trust me, I could eat the whole plate of them, which I'm probably going to do now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried them before? Have you used the grill instead or the air fry only? These will air fry without pressure cooking in the grill and in this in around 25 to 30 minutes if you wanted to do that. It's totally fine. Let me know what you would be dipping these in. Would you have anything else on them? Barbecue sauce? let me know. And obviously make sure you head over to Instagram and Facebook page for all the in-between action. And you do like, share and obviously subscribe to our channel and you hit the bell to subscribe. Until next time, let me know what you'd like to see me cooking in the Ninjas and um, the whole range that I've got. Look on my uh, YouTube channel to see all the different items and make sure you um, let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to cook. Is there anything that you're not sure on? Anything you want to try out? But 
you're a bit nervous, let me know, I'll try it, I'll do a video for you, and we'll go from there. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching everyone. One piece of too many.